All right. This uh, is going to be about raising the Titanic. Is it possible? Let's see if we got a good picture here. Mm -hmm. To raise the Titanic from the bottom of the ocean. Well, I think it is. Let me prove to you why. You've ever, um, I don't know if you've ever blown up a, a uh, balloon underwater and then watched it pop to the surface. So let's use that concept. You got the Titanic is out there. Everybody knows what it looks like. Like this. And then it's stuck out there and you got that little angel lady out there with, you know, on the bow somewhere, I think. Maybe I got the right one. I think the Titanic has that. Anywho. Okay. Inside the uh, portion that's remaining, what you just have to have is you just have to create air pockets inside of whatever is remaining of the hull, provided it stays together when you do this. So let's say just, just generic, basic, um, checking the picture on this, yep, you can see it, uh, just generic, basic, uh, layman's way of just simply doing this. Okay, we want to get the thing up off the bottom of the ocean, and it's under, under umpteen amount of water, you know, it's laying at the bottom of the ocean. And how do we get it up from the bottom of the ocean? Give a little bit of an effect so you can see where the boat is. You got these little portholes for the boat and stuff, and I'll even draw that in there so you can see it. And of course, the notorious gash. That's caused it to sink. This is why it's at the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, isn't this fun? Now, here's the deal. We don't have to seal anything up and make this a complete compartment. All we have to do is create air pockets inside this stupid thing so that it'll rise to the surface. Let's say, you know those uh, submarine, little, little mini subs they've been taking down to see the Titanic? Well, all they have to do, if they can possibly do it, you got those little bitty uh, blow-up life rafts. Have a little canister with them. Let's, th this is just a basic idea. I'm not even saying it'll work. You probably have to, I don't know if you need something even stronger than the material that they're made from, but this, this exemplifies the idea. If it were possible to take hundreds, I don't know exactly how many it would take, start filling at the very nose of this, somewhere where they can catch and start lifting the boat. Say the little, little bitty robots, they drive inside the porthole and drive up in here on the lifeline, the little electrical line they can put in here, and it's little bitty robot hand pulls on a string and puts a raft right there, you know, filled with air, you know. You got this life raft, this, they pulled the cord, the canister blew up the life raft, and now you've got basically, for all intents and purposes, a pocket of air in here. And it starts just a little bit. Now there's really not a whole lot that it's doing, so they pull out another life raft and blow it up. You know, and it's in there doing its thing. It's, the robot's pulled out a second one. And next thing you know, after so many, lo and behold, this thing starts rising, okay? This thing starts making its way up. The front starts lifting up, which is what we want, and they're going to keep filling it with uh, rafts. Now, now the front's starting to lift, and it's going to be off a little bit. So they, they put the robot over here, and they give it a few more rafts, like maybe right there, and maybe one right in here. You know, let the experts figure this out. <laughs> I don't have to figure it out. Let them do it. They know what they're doing. But the thing is, if you can slowly but surely put a line of rafts all the way across the top so that they're stuck in there among things, and they start lifting this kind of evenly, you don't want to just go on like this and then, you know, just having it go up all the way to the surface and bob. Maybe at an angle, maybe at an angle, you'd want it to kind of like this, most majority of the front end of it maybe where the, where the the catch is, where this part can kind of act like a catch for all of these, so that they don't just start bubble like air bubbles. If this is totally flat, the air bubbles will seek a way out, and the air all of them just kind of, if it tilted this way, they just all kind of float out this way, and you'd have a Titanic sinking back down to the bottom. We don't want that. We want to keep wherever the um, 
smallest compartment that's closed off is, which would be at the very front of the, the Titanic, for this portion of it anyway, that seems to be intact enough that, that I think we can do this and get away with it. And of course, remember this top part is also a surface going this way. Okay? So we can put them all in, in a line right alongside each other as well and try to lift the Titanic somehow evenly, maybe with the nose pointed a little bit upward again so that these rafts or whatever we put in there to create buoyancy um, don't like fall, flow out the open end over here, which is over this way. There's an open end, it's just way open, it's just totally broken in half, you know how it is. So anyway, you keep putting these rafts in here and you guys get the idea. Eventually, it's going to create some lift, and as soon as you get it creating lift, once it starts rising, it's going to keep rising until it gets to the surface. And then what can we do from there? Tell you what, we can lasso something or hook something with a chain or whatever like that and start just slowly but surely dragging it to uh, shore. There you go. The buoyancy concept. Let's raise the Titanic and get it off the bottom of the ocean and see what we can find. And this will, this will translate over to any ship that has been sunk. Not every ship out there is going to be broken in half with a big gaping open hole towards this side where you know it was opened up in the middle of the whole ship was just split in two. Other ships that have been sunk, guess what, as long as they can hold together and we can fill them with life rafts, and of course this is just an example, it could be any other type of, of plastic or any type of material that can hold air in it, and be strong enough so that it doesn't explode under the pressure of the water this deep down. That's why I'm saying it's questionable whether the life rafts are going to work or not. But you keep filling this with life rafts, and hypothetically, you could eventually have enough air filling the space within here, within the ship, to raise it to the surface. And again, this could work on just about um, any most most of your ships out there that have been sunk, as long as the all can hold together, this, or the ship itself, you know what I mean. And as long as the, for the depth of the water, the pressure is going to be great, as long as the units that we use, whatever the medium, whatever the material holding the air pockets is, or it could be somebody could come up maybe with a gas uh, to fill up these, these certain type of uh, floating devices they come up with, maybe these really, really tough containers that can be filled um, once you get them that are collapsible and you, you can close them off and fill them up with uh, air once you get them to the bottom. So there you have it, the buoyancy concept, let's start raising some ships off the bottom of the ocean and, and see what we can get, see what we can find. Steal my idea, please. I'm sure any of you out there can probably explain this better than I can. It's a simple concept. Air doesn't stay underwater, it floats to the top. So if you can create pockets of air inside any vessel that's been sunk, you can float it to the top of the surface and then just haul it home. Okay, there you go.